<clears throat> okay. This time, I want to. I was always fascinated by the G-force doing the orbit or in flying something, and this time I downloaded the Delta Glider SEO from the orbit hangar modes and I was wondering how can I put this spacecraft into orbit and still keep the microgravity of 1G for for example we have untrained personnel or some VIPs who ordered the uh, the spacecraft just for just for fun just to see the space just to see the planet earth from from above so basically I was wondering how to do that microgravity of 1G from takeoff during orbit and then going back actually I just managed to to go until the orbit uh, altitude but not more than that so here I'm I'm gonna put the orbit APA orbit PEA and the G-force at this time the G-force I wanna maintain it one during the orbit okay let's see this spacecraft has much more fuel it's, uh, than the default Delta glider has it, it also it's faster so th this is the reason I chose this one because we need the thrust a hover thrust during the orbit to maintain microgravity okay enough with the talking let's start just a one of okay and lift off one G plus maybe horizontal level we are up let's turn the craft eastwards yeah and add some main engine still have one G okay See when I work the time it starts to Okay, never mind. Uh, I'll disengage the autopilot, the horizontal level now. Okay. And just use the trim in order to maintain 1G approximately. Should I can put maximum amount of thrust?
so far so good. I think. It doesn't have to be actually exactly one G. But I don't want the passengers to experience uh, zero gravity. That's the whole idea of of this video. Okay. Already 50 kilometers. Still used pitch up okay that's the maximum so use the overthrust Don't worry about the fuel, it's not the fuel efficiency scenario, it's just something I had on my mind a lot of time. Make an orbit with the, with the uh, microgravity of 1G, so the passengers will feel basically like they're <laughs> on a regular aircraft or something, or down back on the earth. Work the time a bit. Still 1G. I'm quite excited. I'm quite happy with this result. Okay. The upper part of the uh, orbit is now becoming 2,000 kilometers. So I'm gonna go here to the interplanetary and orbit. Okay. Let's orbit. Let's uh, put it. In the orbit, as we see, we have approximately 183 seconds of burn until we reach full orbit. It's gonna be like 2000 <coughs> or 3000, I don't know exactly, kilometers. It's a very high orbit. I'll tell you why soon as we reach it. 66, let's work the time a bit. Another thing I don't understand about this, uh, what they call the G Forge. Now look at the spacecraft. We are the velocity is increasing so why 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 when I pitch up and down I don't see the changes here on the G I only see the changes where we are in the atmosphere not beyond this thing I cannot understand because the the logic says that when we are accelerating here like we are doing now and we change the pitch we supposed to have some changes here on the G-force. That's, that's the, this I don't understand about. I don't know what's going on. I, maybe somebody knows. I'm not a physician. I'm not, uh, I'm not astro, astro, <laughs> astrophysics. But uh, the, the common sense should be that we, if, if we have acceleration we should experience and accelerate acceleration and pitching up or that we should have changes in the gravitational force that we are experiencing and the spacecraft itself of course 
I don't know. I don't know this answer to that. Okay, 17, 17, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, seconds, 5, 4, and Okay, we will continue with the hover thrust, just as I told you. The reason we are doing that is to maintain 1G, microgravity of 1G. Because the plane is still in orbit. Okay, this time I'm gonna just rotate, just rotate the vessel rotation. Banking still keep on one at this point the uh, periapsis and apiapsis because we are upside down should be decreasing as you see. You see? It's decreasing already. I don't know if I can do it for long. I'm wondering. It's my first attempt. Okay. And now we'll see the upper part of the orbit will reach at. That's that. See? Now it's increasing because the home thrust. and see if actually it maintains this is microgravity you see Let's see if we can make a full orbit. I don't see any reason why the, why not, but who knows? Let's see. This is just trial and error. As I told you, I'm not good in numbers. I'm not good in uh, in math. I'm not in. I'm not a scientist. I'm not an astronaut. I just I just had a few lessons with the Cessna. <laughs> Cessna, that's it. I wonder why that. I want to make a full orbit. I want to see if it, if actually we can do that. It's okay. It's okay if it's zero point nine. Still good. One zero point nine one. Okay. So we're gonna reach the sun again. As you can see, the high point of the orbit reaches already six thousand and increasing. I have to know why that also happens. I guess about the uh, bank angle and the pitch. Because the pitch is increasing as I can see here I think that's the reason that's the reason okay just a one I just want to make one orbit just reach one orbit I'll see afterwards how can I go back 
from this situation. So, yeah, which is increasing. Now it's decreasing. decrease see already 40 35 30 okay we we made almost one orbit yeah. now the question is how to go how to go back in also microgravity of 1g and land I don't know I have to think about it I have to think about it how to do it but there we are microgravity look at the fuel this point I think I should end up this video and think how to go back on earth with microgravity of 1g Thank you very much for watching, I'm Gabriel.